What is double fertilization? In the last video, we discussed in detail about the life cycle of angiosperm. This is a very short video giving you the concept about double fertilization in angiosperms. In this image, as you see, this pollen grain germinates and the pollen tube grows through the style and reaches the ovule. Point number one, generative cell of pollen grain forms two male gametes. As you know, at maturity, pollen grain has two unequal cells. A large vegetative cell which forms this pollen tube and a small generative cell that forms these two gametes. In angiosperms, as there are two gametes, there are two sexual fusions. The first fusion is one of the male gamete fuses with the egg forming the zygote. So one of the male gamete fuses with egg to form a diploid zygote. This is the first fusion. The zygote later divides by mitosis and later forms the embryo. Then the second male gamete fuses with the secondary nucleus. At the beginning these nucleus are haploid polar nucleus. Often this combines to form a diploid secondary nucleus. So the second male gamete fuses with this secondary nucleus and forms a triploid endosperm mother cell. A triploid endosperm nucleus that continuously divides and forms the endosperm that nourishes the developing embryo. So in angiosperms there are two sexual fusions. One of the male gamete fuses with egg to form the zygote and the second fusion is one of the male gamete fuses with secondary nucleus forming the primary endosperm nucleus or endosperm mother cell. That is why the fertilization is called double fertilization. The advantage of double fertilization is this endosperm nucleus divides rapidly and forms mass of cells and that provides nutrition for the developing embryo, ensures continuous nutrition for the developing embryo. The second point is this nutritive tissue is formed only after fertilization energy expenditure on providing nutrition for the developing embryo is kept very minimum as the timing is perfect hope you understand the concept of double fertilization thank you so much you are with biologyexamsforyou.com